Minister of State Joseph Harmon this morning met with the Vice President of ExxonMobil and discussed the arrival of its third drill ship before the end of the year. The drill ship will be coming on the heels of the company's announcement of a ninth discovery offshore Guyana, which has increased the country's potential of producing more than 750,000 barrels of oil per day by 2025. Ghana is well on its way to becoming a major oil producer, with another company, Eco-Atlantic, estimating that there is nearly 3 billion barrels of oil in the Orenduk block. The company will begin drilling in the last quarter of 2019. Minister Harmon told reporters that while the announcement is exciting, the information was not officially communicated to the Ghana government. Actually, um, when we get to the point of, um, of drilling down these numbers um, to, to what you call commercial uh, exploration, then the company will make a statement, they will actually provide that information to the government. Um, I think this really was just um, public relation, it's a public statement that it made. Mm -hmm. And so, um, apart from the fact that yes, we are happy that, um, that these uh, discoveries are made in our, um, off of our shore, I think that's, that's very positive news, um, but certainly it was not something that has been officially communicated to us to say. The Aranduk block sees Eco-Atlantic with a 40% interest, while Tolo owns the other 60%. The agreement with the government and the operators, which was signed in 2016, will see Guyana receiving 1% royalty and a greater share of profits with increased production. Under its contract with ExxonMobil, Guyana will earn 2% royalty and 50% of the profits. Davina Samru, Newsroom.